Liverpool's historic background, many of the city's areas are well documented or talked about in some form. But one of Liverpool's best kept secret is Queen Avenue. Spread over two of Liverpool's main commercial streets, Castle Street and Dale Street, at the heart of Liverpool's vibrant traditional business quarter, Queen Avenue is part of the Queen Insurance Building. This was originally built for Royal Bank by Samuel Rowland in 1837-1839 and known as Royal Bank Buildings. Samuel from Whitley, Cheshire, designed St. Bride's Church on Pacey Street and Dean Road Cemetery, which is Liverpool's oldest Jewish cemetery. While offices occupied the front of the Royal Bank buildings, the bank itself was located in a smaller detached stone building at the end of the inner court on 16 to 18 Queen Avenue. Later, the Royal Bank building was taken over by Queen Insurance Company. With the change of business came the change of name. It was named after Queen Victoria, who became Queen in 1837, aged 18, and remained so for the next 60 odd years until her death in 1901. It was also Queen Victoria who granted Liverpool official city status in 1880, so Liverpool could now call herself a city. The main entrance of Queen Avenue is located on Castle Street, below a set of insurance offices designed by Liverpool's George Ernest Grayson and Chester's Edward Old in 1870s and 1880s. Queen Avenue is a quaint little alleyway, less than 100 metres long, and surrounded by Grade two listed buildings previously home to insurance companies, banks and accountants, dating over 100 years. It's one of Liverpool's finest Victorian avenues, full of character. With its wonderful independent stores and offices, walking down the avenues is like taking a step back in time. Couple of interesting facts. Liverpool's first stock exchange was located on the upper floor of this building in 1844. Liverpool Share Brokers Association was founded in 1836 by 11 members, including a gunpowder agent, and met in Merchant's Coffee House on Chapel Street in the grounds of St. Nicholas's Church. They merged with a rival body and stayed here for seven years before moving again to Liverpool Exchange buildings. Cars and buses flow underneath the Queen Avenue every second. The Queensway Tunnel, or the Birkenhead Tunnel, which opened in 1934, flows through Dale Street, underneath many of its iconic buildings. As it approaches Sweeting Street, it swings via Queen Avenue, dissecting it into half, and goes towards Brunswick Street. It then flows straight through the powerful India building and behind the St. James station and heads towards the historic pier head. Finally, the Queensway Tunnel flows under the River Mersey and merges in Birkenhead 
in what is a magnificent feat of human engineering. Liverpool has many hidden gems and buildings that even the locals don't know about or see. Sometimes it takes tourists to see what's in front of us.